Tonight, Spokane City Council passed an ordinance mandating the city be more prepared for extreme weather and have more shelter space ready to go. Our political reporter Casey Decker explains exactly what the new law does and why it's caused such a debate over the past few weeks. The extreme weather has created a rift in Spokane City leadership. The mayor and several members of council disagree on whether the city's response has been good enough. During the triple digit temperatures, the city established cooling centers in Riverfront Park. The mayor says it was more than enough. Hundreds of people used the spaces in Riverfront Park and in libraries throughout the city, and there was still plenty of space. The challenge now is to improve that plan to make better use of existing resources. But several council members say the response needed to be bigger and faster. They contend the shelters weren't busy, not because they weren't needed, but because there were too many obstacles to getting into them. The fact that it wasn't fully utilized at Riverfront Park doesn't mean that it wasn't needed. It just wasn't the right solution. And again, it's not bad intent. It's just it just was not the right solution. Those obstacles range from people just not knowing about them to having transportation issues to just not feeling welcome. Tonight, council passed an ordinance six to one expanding what's required of the city during extreme weather. One rather than mandating cooling centers only when Spokane has three straight days of 100 plus degree weather, it'll now be two days of 95 degree weather. Two, it requires that all warming, cooling and clean air centers be a low barrier, meaning they can't require people to do things like attend a church service or pass a drug test. Three, it specifies that there needs to be enough space in these centers to take in all vulnerable people seeking shelter. And finally, it requires that the city maintain contracts year round so that they're ready to go when extreme weather strikes. Councilmember Michael Cathcart was the only no vote. He feared the measure was pushed through too quickly and so lacked specifics. It just says sufficient to meet, but it does not provide a number. Uh, the mayor pointed out that in her plan, it was enacted during the heat wave. You know, it was sufficient to meet a thousand. Well, if that's not enough, what is the number that needs to be met so that we don't run into a situation where it's insufficient? He also felt that there could be more details about things like transportation and storage and about taking into account things like wind chill. But the council members who passed the law tonight said they'd be happy to add such details later. Right now, gaps in the emergency shelter system just need to be addressed immediately. We lost 20 people this last heat wave, and I'm determined that we should not lose any more because of excessive heat. Now, this ordinance was classified as an emergency ordinance. That means it requires five votes to pass. It got six, and it means the mayor cannot veto. After it passed, Mayor Woodward sent out a press release announcing the city will be opening cooling centers this week. She said the capacity of those shelters totals up to 1,000. In the newsroom tonight, Casey Decker, Crime 2 News.